Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So today we are going to learn about laws of sets First thing is uh, I'm going to uh, teach you about comparing rational numbers and irrational numbers Okay Irish, uh, Rational numbers Okay, rational numbers ni uh, Is the number that can be converted to Whole number And um, Fractions Okay, so the example of these numbers uh, is 1 over 2, um, mm, uh, 0 0.26 uh, 0 0.26 is actually 26 over 100 um, 0 0.75 um, 3 over 4 is same as 0 over 4 Okay, so all of these numbers uh, can convert it to a um, fraction Okay, for the irrational number uh, Irrational number is a number that cannot convert it to whole, whole number. number and fraction okay, The example of uh, this number is 0 0.26 Seven three zero five and blah blah blah. Okay, this number cannot uh, convert it to uh, fractions. Okay, uh, another example is okay two is uh, uh, if you take and calculate it is it one point four one four two one three five blah blah blah. Okay, this number cannot convert it to fraction okay. number. Okay, conclusion is irrational numbers is sets and rational numbers is not sets. Okay. Okay, see, uh, the number with radicals, if the values are integers or recurring decimals, are not sets. So, sets are not recurring. Okay, recurring is, example, example of recurring, so, example of recurring is 0 0.6767, 67, 0.9999, 1 over 3. Uh, that same is 0 0.3333 okay this number uh, a recurring number that is um, not such okay. okay so the conclusion is recurring decimals are not such um, for such is number uh, that difference 7 8 6 blah 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 is that, that is not recurring concept law of sets Law number one, set A darab dengan set B sama dengan set AB. Example one, soalan A. Set 3 darab set 7. Saya darab macam biasa, 3 darab 7, saya kita dapat set 21. Soalan B, set 3A darab dengan set 5A. Saya kita dapat darab macam biasa, dapat 3A darab 5A, dapat set 15A squared. So, A kita buat keluar, so jawapan dia A set 15. Untuk law kedua pula, set A bahagi dengan set B. Jawapan dia set A per B. Untuk example 2, soalan A, set 24 bahagi dengan set 8. Jawapan dia, set 3. Manakala untuk example 2, soalan B, set 21 bahagi dengan set 7A. So, macam biasa, 21A bahagi dengan 7A. So, jawapannya ialah set 3. So, in the topic set, one of the technique that we need to master is rationalizing the denominators for expression involving set. So these all are expression that contain set. So how do we rationalize it? We will rationalize it by multiplying it with the conjugate sets. Why? Because we want to eliminate the set. For example, the first row is a usual fraction. So if you found a usual fraction, you will just multiply it with the conjugate set. 1 over m set a, uh, multiply with m set a over m set a. But then, if you found a fraction with an equation with a symbol, you need to focus on the symbol. If you found a uh, addition symbol, you need to multiply it with the opposite symbol of it. If multiply, the opposite is minus. But then, if minus, the opposite is plus. So, the how to rationalize it will be like this. M set A plus M set B multiply with M set A minus M set
set B over M set A minus M set B. So that at the end of the day, it will produce uh, M set A uh, power of 2 minus M set B power of 2. So this is what we call a rational denominator. So by multiplying it, it will be rational. So that's all we need to understand. The question given is 1 plus 35 over 3 plus 35. So how to solve it? We need to multiply this equation um, with 3 minus 35 over 3 minus 35. Why do we need to use uh, 3 minus 35? Because we need to rationalize this using the conjugate cert, uh, which is the same as a plus b, a minus b. Okay. So it is going to be 3 minus 35 plus 3 35 minus 5 over 9 minus 5. So equals to negative 2 plus 2 35 over 4. We can simplify it by dividing these two with 4. So it is going to be negative 1 plus 35 over 2. Okay. Moving on to the next question, now I'm going to show you how to answer this question. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is just write down the question again. So, 1 over 2 plus 3, negative 1 over 2. And then, after you have done this, you need to simplify it. So, this will turn into this. And this will turn into this. Okay, after this, we need to times this and this so it will be 3 to the power of 1 over 2 and 3 to the power of 1 over 2 is equals to set 3 okay after we've done this part we can solve set 4 but we cannot solve set 3 so it will become 2 set 3 plus set 3 after this we need to rationalize this because we don't want the set as the denominator. So we're going to multiply this with the conjugate set with which is set 3. And then after we have done this, 2 set 3 over 3 plus set 3. Okay. Okay, so now we know that set 3 is equal to set 3 over 1. So we need to equalize the denominator by times this whole equation with 3 over 3. So we'll get 2 set 3 plus 3 set 3 over 3. And the final answer will be 5 set 3 over 3. Or 5 over B set 3. And we are done. I never made it. But I know